Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, I wanted to start this video uh, with a medium duty F650, F750 with a 6.7. Uh, I don't have too many uh, medium duty vehicles uh, for any issues, but today I do. So this one came in for a check engine light. And um, I want to show you guys uh, what I found. Um, his only complaint was the check engine light, but when I went to go start it up, I noticed, I'm not going to tell you, see if anybody notices, what light is not coming on. Okay. It's a diesel. Where's our glow plug light? Freaking glow plug light's not on. So, um, I didn't know if that had anything direct correlation with the check engine light, but let me show you what codes we got here. So, self test, PCM. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, we have an on demand DTC. An electrical issue right now. Glow plug control module system voltage. And we also have a reductant heater control performance code. Now, if anybody knows um, how the glow plug system functions on the 6.7s, they also take care of all the reductant heaters. The one in the line, the one in the tank, and the one in the pump that's on top of the tank. So right now, we have a heater performance and definitely something going on with the glow plug control module. Um, and it's not throwing our uh, illuminated coil on the IC. So uh, let's check out some diagnosis. Okay, so the um, description for this is the supply voltage is uh, for the glow plug module. This DTC sets when the module detects an under or over voltage condition. And it goes ahead and says glow plug function is disabled. What is going on with this focus? Sorry about that. Uh, glow plug function is disabled when the system voltage is below 6.5 volts or above 16 and a half volts. So the pinpoint test it has you go for is AF. So we click on AF and it's going to have us go through the pinpoint test and ask us if the DTC we got is present. Yes. And it basically wants us to disconnect the glow plug control module, all three connectors, or rerun the test and see if those same DTCs come back. And they did. So we go to AF4 and AF Four wants us to check for battery voltage at the big connector at the glow plug control module. Okay guys, I'm over here on the passenger side fender. Uh, pop the hood. And this right here is the glow plug module. We got one, two, three connectors. This is our main power going in. Um, I'm sure some communication wires to the PCM and this is the connector that has all of our reductant heater uh, circuits in it so um, I'm going to test from here and just like they said with the key on at this connector I should have battery voltage so let's see what we got okay, so pop this little cover on These connectors were pretty dirty, so I did have to blow them out prior to testing. So there's our connector we're going to need to test. We're going to check for voltage. I'm going to use this ground right here on the bulkhead. And I don't know if you guys can see that meter. Yep, you can. Perfect. Okay, let's see what kind of voltage we got at the glow plug module 
main battery connector. 4.909 volts. Okay. Well, here's a bunch of other uh, big uh, studs that should have power. Let's see what this one has. Ah, battery voltage. Okay, so why do we have battery voltage here, but we don't have battery voltage going to here? Weird. I wonder if anybody's came across this before. Let's double check that again, huh? All right, we got 4.5 volts now. We're going to double check our big studs over here. Okay, here we got power. Okay. Main power coming in. 4.71 volts coming out of that stud. 12 volts on the stud next to it. Okay, okay. So, uh, let's ohm out this wire just for, for shits and giggles. Give me one second. Okay, we just got a couple of 13s. Okay, here's my stud um, that goes to, you can see, guys, how long this wire is. It's literally, I don't know, 36 inches long maybe. So we're gonna ohm out this and make sure we have a good, good circuit here. So we got on the eyelet. What's our resistance? Okay, perfect, that's what we want. So uh, we could take it a step farther and load test that, but I mean, for as short as the circuit is, I don't see any visual chafe spots. I'm gonna have to say that this cable is gonna be good. Um, I'm gonna head and kind of show you guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with two hands, or uh, one hand. Um, so this, you see how loose that is? There is a little tab right here that I can pop this out. And I'm going to attempt to do that. So let's see if we can pop that out. I did just pull this outside, so it's cold. Here's, uh, here's one. Now remember, um, when I was testing that stud, when I was testing this stud, I had four and a half volts here and 12 volts here. But I'm gonna show you guys what I found yesterday. Look at this. This is a circuit breaker. One is for the auxiliary control heater and one is for the glow plug control module, this one. So, um, unfortunately, this part was back ordered um, till the beginning, I mean the middle of January, but we were able to find some dealer in South Carolina that wanted to get rid of it and sold it to us. This is under warranty. This truck got 40,000 miles on it. It's a 2016. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the installation of this. No problem, put our cables back on, just like so. This is our main cable. Oh, we gotta put this one on first. And that clips it down over there. There we go. Alright, pop this one back down, and then our main feed. Put our nuts back on, and let's take some voltage readings again. Be ginger, we're not putting tires on, guys. Okay, let's see, voltage-wise, let's see if we changed with this new, with this new circuit breaker. Okay. Boom, check it out. All right, let's go run our self-test and see if our on-demand code went away. Okay, we'll 
we'll shut this off. Go ahead and bring this bad lad back in. Put this back on. Get my gun. Alright. Okay, I haven't ran any codes yet. Let's see if we get the glow plug coil to come on. Should be under the uh, speedometer. Boom! There it is. Alright, we'll come back over here to IDS. And let's see. The most important, this is supposed to go away. If we have any electrical fault and we just corrected it, if we run the self-test, our on-demand DTC should go away. So, rerunning test. Oh, can't do it because the PCD is open. Unclick the lock. Go back over. Yes, I know. Retesting. Wow, I wish the test took that fast. Usually. Okay. Well, it just went away. So we no longer have an electrical problem with the glow plug control module circuit. So we're going to clear all the codes that were stored because of that hard fault. Um, and then we're going to start it up and see how it runs. Because when I started it up this morning, it ran like complete dog doo-doo. Okay, there's everything passed. We do a key cycle. Back on. There's our coil. Let's see how she starts. Any day. Oh yeah. Freaking awesome. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if anybody's ever got an issue with their F650-750 and a check engine light and glow plug module codes, you may want to check this high current junction block uh, for excessive corrosion. You can see this area isn't the cleanest and is uh, totally susceptible to road grime and nastiness so tell me what you guys think about this video in the comment section below and uh, make sure to give me a like and thumbs up i hope you guys have a good holiday and stay safe out there guys thanks for watching